as many people know, if, if you watch my channel for a while, I've had kind of a crazy-ish uh, couple of months here. They've been kind of challenging waters and uh, very just not knowing the outcome of certain things and just very unknown territory. And a lot of people, myself included, don't really like living like that, but it kind of just has been the way that my life has always gone. And I, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in this video is the idea that I've always had faith that it would always work out with whatever message that I was getting. So a lot of people will call that new spirituality or whatever. And I don't really think it is. I think it's just, I, I see things the way they're going to go. Now, I don't know how they're going to unplay. I don't know how they're going to unfold. I don't know anything involved with that. And that is a very hard thing for a lot of people to wrap their hands around. It's like you got to see it before you can believe it. But in this case, you got to believe it before you can see it. Kind of, they talk, they talk about that in this little booklet here, uh, calling things that are not. And, and it, this is what Jesus used to do and God, and God did to create the planet. The planet, he created the planet just by words alone, right? The, you know, he spoke it into existence. And that is one of the things that you really have to realize. But when you speak things into existence, you actually have to have enough faith for it to actually be seen on the other end of your words. And I, I think a lot of people have too much faith in everything but themselves. Now, this can be a very challenging thing. This can be because we're not taught this, right? You go to school, you get, you go to school and you're taught how to be an employee. You're taught how to be uh, basically a plugged into the system. You're not taught how to create things. Think about when you're in early school, right? Your early days, like preschool, if you went to a kindergarten, if you, and I think everybody goes to kindergarten and, you know, I don't know, first, second, third grade. Most of the time you're in like painting class, you're in art class, you're maybe singing or it's just you know, whatever, like, you know, artistic creation. But comes there comes a point around, I think, fourth grade or fifth grade or somewhere in there, if you're in America anyway, that all of that's cut out. If you go to art class, it's thought of as kind of weird. You're never going to make a living at it uh, or, or whatever it is, whatever kind of thing that isn't within the norm. They don't teach you trade. They don't teach you how to handle money. They don't teach you anything really other than and even this. <clears throat> the people that I went to school with, you know, way, way back in the 90s, <laughs> the ones that went to trade school were thought of as like trash, basically. Like, well, what do you mean you're not going to college? You're going to trade school? Meanwhile, the trades make way more money most of the time than the people who go to eight, year co uh, eight, eight years of college. You have to un erase a lot of what you're taught in these institutions. I mean, if you really look at it, it's a 12-step program, just like anything else. Now, I'm gonna, not going to go where the 12-step program came from in this video, but think about all the programming they had. Even TV is called programming. Everything, or like a, a guidebook is called a program. Everything is programming you. Everything is, watch this over here. You know, the, the, the elites do this over here. It's all about removing that idea of having faith within yourself and the idea of, you know, the Bible's back here. The Bible literally tells you what to do, but it's erase, they erase this stuff from your memory. And a lot of the Gospels and the books are taken out. Know that you can create this stuff, but you got to have enough faith within you to actually create it. Like Jesus said, if, if you had a, a, a faith, a grain of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. You could tell this tree over here to, to, to wither and die. You could do whatever you wanted to. And a lot of people, I think, have seen this aspect of their lives at some point. You know, you thought of something and something like, I don't know, for a simple example, you thought of somebody calling you and they call or you hear from them in some other way or whatever it is. There's some some little tidbits of this that, that people will see. But there's others who always live in this this realm of being able to have faith uh, and move toward a direction that they wanted to to, to move. And that gets rid of stagnation in your life. And, you know, it's it, within the body, too. There's constipation and stagnation in the body. And if you have it in the body, I feel like it reflects out into the real world. You know, you're kind of a mirror of your existence internally and externally. So if you internally are not where you want to be, your external might not be where you want it to be either. 
you know there's usually some kind of correlation between that you know depending on if you're really looking at it if you're really paying attention and how you really feel about some of this stuff but the bottom line is if you don't have the faith that something will work out that anxiety or whatever and anxiety is really just trying to live in the future which you really can't do and fear, you know, fear and anxiety really is, you know, past and future, which isn't available to you anymore. You can only live right now. And I'm speaking to myself here. I mean, everybody goes through this, right? You're always thinking about, oh, man, this is going to happen or this is going to happen. Like something like 85 or 90 percent of the stuff that you have anxiety over is never going to happen, if not more. You know, so what's the point of worrying about it anyways? And I know that's easier said than done. But really, when you when you really look at the reality of life, most of your worries are never going to happen. They're never going to happen. You might have this worry every day and it's never going to happen. You might have this worry every day and it does happen, <laughs> you know, but most of the time, like that 85% of the time, it is not going to happen. So you just spent all of your time thinking about something that isn't going to happen. Want something to happen, you have to just move toward that thing whatever that thing is. Have faith. Even if the craziest stuff happens, even if you get roadblocks, even if you get all kinds of things telling you that this, you know, that, that you're not going to achieve this or whatever. If it is something that you want to do, you have got to go for it. And even if you've got to fake it, lie to yourself until you make it, you've just got to get that done. And I, you know, this video is for me too. You have to just fake it till you make it because until the brain waves and everything else match each other, it's just never going to happen. It's just never going to happen. And I'm not talking about, you know, becoming wizards and stuff like that. I'm just talking about seeing something, seeing what you want to do. It, you know, the, one of the worst things I think we all can do is complacency, doing the same thing every single day. You know, it's just not that great of a thing. One of the best things that can happen to most people is getting fired from their job or losing something because it causes you to, to change in some way. And a lot of people, this is the only reason that you're going to lose a job or a relationship or something like that is because it just was too comfortable. It was too stagnated. It was not going to grow in any capacity. <clears throat> and if change is the only inevitable on this planet, and if you're not living in that change, if you're always scared of that change actually happening, you know, you see it a lot. You see it a lot. You see it a lot of people just down about everything. They're down about everything because they just could not handle the change that was presented them. And they just were, they were in the comfortable. And some people, you know, that's just their thing. But for the most of us, well, for some some percent of us, that you know, change is, is inevitable, and you just got to live with the the ebbs and flows of of living with it. You know, just getting to where you want to go. Anyway, that is the video today. Just really think about this stuff. Now, I'm not huge into mantras. I you know, I've I've talked about them in the past. I think that can get dangerous. I think that can open up portals that you don't want. But at least just asking. God or universe, I really don't like calling it universe, but God, like, you know, what's next or whatever. Just I have this little thing written here. It, it, when you pray, go within secret and I shall open the door. You know, Jesus talked about that quite a bit in the Bible. You know, just go within and not, where nobody else can hear you and just, just talk it out. Just talk it out. Anyways, that is the video. Comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.